Hi everybody, now I'm going to discuss how mixed urinary incontinence can really affect quality of life. Um, so if you are experiencing mixed urinary incontinence, it's really not fun. You're probably having to empty your bladder too frequently. You're probably having quite a few leaks. It's actually a, quite a large indicator that you have a not good control of your pelvic floor muscles if you're having together both stress and urge urinary incontinence. We really wanna get it um, treated and not just with medication because medication is really just masking the fact that you don't have good control of your pelvic floor muscles. And if, once you get control, it's you shouldn't need a medication anymore. And it should just, you life will be better. You won't have to find the bathroom every 15, 30 minutes. You won't have to know every stop along the way. You shouldn't need to use urinary incontinence products anymore. So a little bit of time and energy, maybe a little bit of money up front, but Medicare really um, pays for physical therapy. So pure med so Medicare Part B, so that's, um, Medicare replacements are a little bit different. But um, even if you're younger and you have a copayment or have to pay out of pocket, it's really gonna save you money in the long run because incontinence products are really expensive. So go see your pelvic floor physical therapist, learn how to do a proper Kegel, learn how to get your muscles strong. Um, it probably is not gonna take more than eight weeks as long as you don't have any pain involved. Um, and make your life better not having to find the bathroom all the time. I'm Dr. Lauren Collier-Peterson, Physical Therapy and Balance Center's Clinical Director, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Send me a line if you have any questions. Don't let mixed urinary incontinence affect your quality of life and make you miserable. It's very treatable and you don't need to be on medications either once you learn how to properly control your pelvic floor. Have a great day, bye-bye.